Hey guys, this episode's basically just to catch you up on what's going on. Um, just got back to Lincoln and we have 36 days to renovate 29 apartments. All right. Whew, can't hear me at all with that mask on. All right, 36 days remaining. So I spent the last couple days enjoying my family before coming back down. We're gonna do a three week marathon trying to knock out this project. Started a little bit on the outside painting, of course. That railing behind me is getting replaced with something that looks a lot more cabinesque and fun. Um, let's see what all got done inside the hotel rooms. Well, the annex rooms. So in total, I have about 29 units and uh, have to kind of decide on who I'm gonna put where. Um, Let's just take a look real quick on something that I love about this property. So, yes, it's extremely ugly, but not exactly the view. The view is awesome. I have like four acres of Greenland. Why do people want to live here? Because it's the only place in Lincoln that has a beautiful park. I got a beautiful park. All right, let's take a look at some of these rooms. Well, they've done a decent job at cleaning up the the sidewalks and whatnot. Why isn't it letting me, it's not letting me do a reverse face. Okay. I guess I'll just take it with me. All right. If we see somebody, I have to put the mask on, but let's see. Well, they fixed those cabinets, like I said. Done a little bit of money work. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is put a couple of live, live edge uh, shelves there. Or, to be honest, it's a rental. I'll probably just get some regular shelves. Stain them dark, make them look kind of cool. I need to come through and do some mudding in this. He actually did a really good job on his, on his corners and stuff, but we're forgetting big chunks. Um, let's see, what else we got? Well, of course, they left all the all the tile that they chipped up. So I gotta tell them to do it, otherwise they don't get done. A little bit scared of that fridge. It's obviously been sitting around for a little bit. Unplugged. Let's see, that's 101. Let's check out 102, 102 is a studio. Can't get in there. You can see through the window. Maybe I'll turn you around. It's been ish done. Again, they didn't clean it up. Kind of wonder what they've been doing the last week. Siding guys got their siding done, so that's awesome. That unit's occupied, but let's check out the next one. Unit four. All right. Let's see. This one, I don't think they're done moving either. And that one, I found out that they're still not done. Okay. Well, obviously this wasn't going to go perfect. Take back off my mask. All right, a lot of the ceiling scraping is probably what they were working on this week. Whew, it's bright. Let's see, it's more of that beautiful Nebraska grass. Man, you really miss the flat green grass when you move away. Trees and whatnot. Okay, 107, still occupied. 108. Okay, so this one's ready. It's in need of major love. It's ugly. This unit, obviously they started mudding, so that's good. That's brown. I guess that was cream my coffee brown, which was a popular color for a little bit. I don't know, it looks a little bit darker than that. Um, yes, my mask is off. No one else is around here. This is just stuff left inside of an empty unit. Moving means tiles are destroyed. You find out everything that's been broken that nobody tells you about. That's why we need to check them more often so we can fix them. This stuff's annoying. Oh, the mirror's broken too. Okay. <sighs> well, that is what you expect on a move out. Normally, you don't get it from a, from a, um, normal move out. Normally it's just a, like an eviction type thing, but 
I guess for this one. Everybody's always afraid that they're going to have to pay some kind of um, fee for for breaking something. I'd rather know about the dang 50 cent tile, send my maintenance guy in there and fix it, than charge you any fee. Because now I'm gonna have to see what's behind that tile to make sure it's not destroyed. Okay, time to go check out the second floor. I like my new siding. Can't wait till my new concrete looks the same way. Even the windows look cleaner. Well, the small windows, the big windows look ugly. But we'll Windex the heck out of those ones too. I think it's just one of those things that they take longer to do. Okay. Nice. 203. Whew. Well, definitely colder in this room. Nebraska is only 82 degrees today. Do you remember the blue? Julie said she started touching up the blue. You could tell that she painted everything except for the trim on that wall. And this wall needs to get done. Whew. They got the stove super cleaned. And I didn't show this in the first video because I didn't notice it, but somebody broke that handle and we just so happened, Julie hoards everything, which sometimes it's annoying, but sometimes it's really useful. She had an extra handle for this exact stove. They deep cleaned it, got the grease. It seemed like it was burned on there off. What else? I know I keep showing this room, but to be honest, it's really the only one that's on the second floor empty, I think. Okay, now for the real challenge. What I have to do is figure out how to how to get all these empty rooms going. Let's see if this one's even unlocked now. Julie unlocked all the ones she had the key for. This is a room I've never touched before. Let's see, I'll switch it around. It's just a giant empty hotel room. Style, needs new flora, needs working vanity, working shower. I haven't even been inside of it, haven't checked it. So that'll be fun. I have that one there. They got all the windows fixed, so that's nice. Oh, this one's unlocked. Good Julie. All right. Another one we've never touched yet. Basically, our drywall is almost like a wallpaper since it's all concrete below it. So probably just easier just to swap it out. Oh, somebody's been sleeping. This room is gonna need some love. This is gonna be one of the harder ones to get because behind that wall, hmm, I don't know if I should even show that. Somebody's already taken out the entire drywall chunk and that's the bathroom. Again, not a room I've started. It'll be a fun one to get going. Yeah, so the biggest part of this now 30 day challenge, um, I think like I said, 36 days remaining, is gonna be to go through and get these rooms that have absolutely nothing in them ready to go. These guys still in the room, wouldn't let us do anything around their room, so that's frustrating. That's okay. Let's see. This room is empty. This is another studio. I closed the door. Just a basic green colored room. Used to have a really nice um, shelving type stuff, but I don't know, people break. It's all needs super cleaned and probably painted and what have you. For the most part this one's not that bad. Some of the rooms have these random heat lamp things. There's a new mirror. Some drywall hatching properly. It's gotta be a way to not have it so zoomed in. Okay. Like I said, we have some rooms that are going to need a lot of help. 
Remember all that random rooms that we kept getting garbage out of? This is what they look like after they've been cleaned out. Somebody obviously had a hotel room here at one point, but the plumber's gonna have some fun with this room. Need to have my electrician come through and check stuff too. Nasty old wallpaper, nasty. Nasty. Lot, it's almost like its own little hotel back here. Here's another room. It is all cleaned out. Look at that. I kept all the mirrors. That's nice. I don't know why we have half a couch, but we do. More weird wallpaper. And I'm guessing we did that with the box springs to, I don't know, because for some reason we think we want to keep them. Okay. I'm sure these doors lay a little below. Another, again, they're hotel size rooms. They're like the same size as a two bed. Just somebody in the past has gone through and gutted them, which is fun. They all kind of look the same. I hope they'll be really pretty in the end. Like I said, 29 of them. So if I can get these all going, my plan is to separate out long terms back here. Um, obviously just the long terms that have paid their bills and not done anything crazy that's put them on the do not rent list. Another room. Why are we keeping some of this stuff? To ask that question. Yeah, I have a feeling I have to fix all these doorknobs. I think they, ones they couldn't get into, they pried open. Gotta love that auto darkness dimming thing. This room's full of doors. I'm guessing we used our entire stash of room full of windows. Yeah, a lot of these doors are sticking. Hmm. Can't get that one to open. And this one looks like it'll be a lot of fun too. Same as the last couple. We have a lot of work in front of us. Originally, I think this was 52 units back here. And now it's 29 apartments, studio, one bedrooms. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun to make it work. But if you're interested in watching a bunch of people stress out for 36 more days, be sure to like and subscribe. Hey guys, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to like and subscribe.